Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to prevent from SQL injection. And last time we went through uh, this tutorial here and uh, we created the database, uh, create database and uh, in our database we had a user ID, name, address, seat, postcode and phone. And uh, we added the dummy data from the, into the database and uh, then we we wrote a script that uh, can uh, can show the database uh, the data from our database but there is a problem here because the there is a SQL injection if an attacker use a, for, is, for instance if it's a form and the attacker use uh, this S SQL a script to add the form he can bypass the form and the damage your database so today I'm going to show you how to, uh, to prevent to prevent SQL injection and in case if you haven't watched this tutorial I recommend you watch this and see how we did but um, in a nutshell what we did is we had a username the password and also we create this driver here created this object video object and uh, we use the SQL to select uh, all from users we order by name and address and here is the way of showing it to the browser by using uh, HTML and also we add this for each so we use this handle to call the, the query and we pass SQL so we pass this video object uh, to have the associative array as a row and here we implode and to the uh, these tags and today I'm going to show you how to uh, to use uh, uh, to use a um, press statement and also a uh, SQL function so right here I have the same case but here I'm going to select from users where name is Grace and back to our database you see we have a name Grace here or John whatever you want to use and uh, and uh, I'm just saying that select all from users where the name is Grace so this is it's not a good practice because you know, an attacker can uh, um, execute the code to our forms and bypass the form so I'm going to show you how to to use the, the prepare statement in SQL uh, using prepare command from uh, from PDO object. Uh, what happens is uh, data server uh, precompile uh, the SQL statement and uh, reserve a place for for the name. Uh, or ID depends whatever you want to do and uh, this information is is uh, supplied later on a skewed uh, uh, on a skewed so this information is, is prepared later on a skewed face so uh, prepare the queries uh, SQL statement that are sent to a uh, are sent to and also par parsed by the database server uh, separately from um, from any parameter parameters this way is impossible for uh, for an attacker to inject any malicious SQL so we have we have two ways or two options to to prevent S SQL injection so I'm going to show you the first uh, way which is by using the video so we can use video object we prepare a square statement with a named parameter and another way is by using my sqli which also we prepare the sql statement with the with a question mark okay so here i'm going to change this uh, i'm going to change this sql here to prepare by use we're going to use prepare so we can say this was name name so I'm going to uh, to 
use this object to call prepare so s square db where name uh, equal to named and then we use sql then we execute use sql function and this sql fun function we pass an array this array we are going to have named this one and this is associative array so uh, then we pass the name because we post the name that is on our data database so we can check here we have grace or john and uh, this we are going to use the name here because in a real real world it means you had a form and this form you're going to pass a variable here which that's the name the user will gonna type on the form so this I'm just using this because this is not a form so I'm going to type the name Grace Grace here we forgot to add this as a string yeah and uh, you can see Prevent, prevented uh, uh, this uh, SQL from SQL injection. Uh, uh, this is we use PDO prepare function that prepares a statement for execution and returns uh, a statement object and uh, prepare an SQL statement to be executed by the PDO execute function. So also it, it is prepare for that and uh, the SQL statement can contain uh, it can, can contain zero or more name name for example here I have one but it can, can contain more uh, or as I'm going to show you on my using my SQL it can also contain the the question mark and uh, yeah for now let's run this one save and uh, we see if it will run and so when we run uh, for some reason i get this two times but this is not the case because now i'm showing you how to use this prepare function so the prepare function you have you we are using named and here we use a skewed, we use this um, sql to call this function here on array we are passing the name which is in database but remember that uh, uh, you cannot use both a uh, named and question mark uh, as a, a parameter maker within the same SQL statement we have to pick one style to use or to bind the user input and also uh, we cannot put the uh, include the user input directly to the query uh, like this uh, but I just did this because this is on the form so I guess it's going it's going to be uh, it was going to be uh, dollar name this is a variable that is going to hold the data from the uh, from the table so another way of doing this is by using um, my SQL 
i my sql i so you you pass the the question mark here it's like a placeholder and uh, we execute this query but this time we are going to because here it was supposed to be the name so we are going to pass the name the name which is it's hard coded which is, is grace so now if I save and run you see I get the same result but this time I'm using the question mark press holder so um, uh, this is how you can prevent the SQL, SQL injection so please leave a comment or subscribe like and share if you have any question you can ask on uh, comment below thank you guys and